what is going on so today i'm back at fishing again it's been a very long time i'll probably say maybe a week or two i got a fish already let's go i'll take it first cast of the day catch a nice fish come here baby boy Oh, this is a chunk too. Chill out. Oh my gosh, this is a big old bass. Nice, this is a beaut. This is a spawning fish too, his tail is all, all messed up. But I'll take that. Yes, first cast of the day. I'll take it, I'll take it. Look at this fish, this is a, a big boy. Easy three pounds right there. Spawning right there, his tail's all bleedy, so that says that, so. This is definitely a male. So has that belly right there, but let me go ahead and, I don't know, should I take a photo or not? I'm gonna go ahead and take a photo real fast. Go ahead and release this boy. There we go. First cast of the day. I popped it probably like two or three times. And that fish is right there. Man, I, I should have been out here a long time ago. But when I first came out here a couple times, I caught like one or two fish. But most of them were uh, spawning on beds. And they're really hard to hard to uh, catch. But um since that's like that's my came here it was a bunch of crawl dads and i went back to my trusty old ned rig have a crawl color of orange and black with black flakes on it but uh apparently that bass wanted that super bad but wow first cast let's go i'll take that any day of the week try it over there that was a that was a male on the spot on the bed right there. So his tail was pretty much destroyed. So there has to be more fish, or at least a female over here with that bass. So that's that's a good sign. They're biting. Trouble I was having a lot of times coming here. The last two times, like the first time I caught what I think two fish, and then the next time I came, I caught one fish. So it was, you can say it was kind of rough. Uh, the only thing I've got to say about that is because this, this pond is super pressure. This is the middle of a neighborhood, a park. Um, pretty much anyone can access it at all times. And when I got here, there was some guys fishing across another pond on the right side of this off a dock. So this, this pond, these ponds get fished a lot. And then there's another pond not really another pond, but another uh, area where it leads to underneath the bridge over there. Well, straight from crossing over there. And there's somebody fishing over there too, so. I just, I just can't believe I caught that fish on the first cast. I gave it maybe like one or two pops, felt pressure immediately. And what do you know, there's a fish on there. And it was a nice fish too. So the good thing is I know what these fish are feeding on. Cause like in, last time I said I came here there was there was little crawdads everywhere and they were huge. So with big crawdads there's gotta be big bass in here. Which it proves that well, I just caught that fish now. That fish was pretty big. Really big. Only thing that kind of surprised me was that fish was sitting out in the sun, so. That's the only thing that shocked me right there. And there's there's another thing why I've been putting off coming here is because the last time I came here, the day I came here, somebody 
actually either drowned or was killed or something at this pond. So I've kind of been straying away from it. I usually go fishing by myself and I'm in the city, so it can get scary sometimes like that. So I really have been coming here for that main reason to like die down because you never know, it could be some crazy person out here trying to take out fishermen for no reason. Yeah, there's definitely weeds down here. That's a good thing. But then I'm just gonna be catching a bunch of this. Me. Throw out deep real fast to see if I can catch something down here. Cause you never know. It is kind of warm today. It's probably 72, 74. So it was pretty warm. The sun's out. Spinnerbait, Shatterbait would be good right now, but since I've seen there was just a bunch of crawdads, I'm just gonna go, go finesse. I use a, a jig, small jig head with the worm on it. So first cast it worked, so can't complain about that. Let me toss it right back down here and then head on to the next spot. See if I can get something real fast. Fish it a little bit slower. These Dobbin rods are so good. Like this rod is a Sierra series, uh, six nine. All uh, right, what is it? A medium fast action. I can feel every bounce, every rock I'm hitting right now. Like I'm, I've turned into like a Dobbin's person. My first rod I've used was just with a good old Zepco on a, uh, what was it called? On an ugly stick. And that's basically the only thing I've used, but then I picked up the Dobbins and they just felt so light. So light, you feel the bottom, you feel the little, just the little small bites, pretty good. So, so far I've just been rolling with Dobbins so far. I know there's a, a Shimano frogging stick that I wanted to pick up, but unfortunately it's sold out on Tackle Warehouse and I haven't found it anywhere else. So that's a downfall, but I don't know. Might branch out to try other rods. Maybe some other reels too, but I've, I haven't decided yet because bass equipment gets very expensive, especially when you go at Dobbins and uh, Dobbins and Shimano. So this is the spot where I kind of was aiming towards from that rock down there and I caught that fish. So I see some type of weeds right there, but uh, I remember there being a lot of crawdads towards this direction over there. So, oh my gosh. This is a bad spot. There's a bunch of baby ducks right here. Where is the mama geese at? Yeah, I'm about to move, but I don't want to be anywhere near this. As you can see, look, there's two little baby ducks right there. So I'm going to back away slowly because I don't get attacked by geese because I, I can't even imagine what it feels like to get bitten by geese. I almost stepped down there. That was, that's what's kind of scared me. I almost stepped on them. So I'm gonna try to sneak down here very quietly. Got some cover down here. We got some logs down the water. Some fallen tree branches. Oh, something spooked right there. Something jumped up. See a bunch of little bait fish down there. That's a good sign. So something's down here scaring these fish. There's the fish are jumping right there in those trees right there falling down in that little shaded area. So something definitely spooked them. And that wasn't me for sure because I have a very small worm and I don't think they'll be spooked out about that. 
they'll just try to eat it for sure for that for that fact. Well, there goes two police cars just flying down the street. Let me move down a little bit. Something must have happened pretty bad because I was on the cover cop car right there. I know a fact that a fish that I caught was on the bed down there, but I threw a couple times down there. Didn't get anything after that. Should have stayed down a little bit longer, cast a little bit, cast a little bit longer. Cause I knew for a fact there was more fish down there. Should have definitely stayed a little bit longer. Here comes another cop car too. Something bad really must have happened. That's the fourth cop car that's driven by. I guess I'm just gonna hit the banks because apparently they're not deep. Well, I had something right there. So, so far it's been probably, I wanna say 20, 30 minutes. I've gotten maybe one little small bite nibble. I think that's from like a very small bluegill or something like that. But so far I haven't got anything, but my shoes are soaking wet. I so had to get in the water to get my jig out kind of stuck in the rocks over here so i just had to go ahead and jump in real fast and so i didn't feel like retying so i just went ahead and jumped in got it back usually i can get it out pretty quick but apparently i guess it was just stuck super good so now uh, last time i came here there was fish by this tree stump and they were in beds so i should catch Maybe one or two over here. For sure. Man, I might just go back to my spot. I caught that first fish because I know there's a huge food source over there. So I think I maybe should have stayed over there. So I know for a fact that there's gonna be a fish over there that that big of a fish it was on the bed no doubt because his tail was bloody so the only question was it was a no it wasn't i don't think it was a post spawn fish because it had a, it had his belly still so i think it was still a pre-spawn fish but i came here like maybe a week or two ago and these fish were on beds haven't spawned yet so i don't know it's kind of hard to say I don't think it was, but his tail said otherwise, so I don't, it's hard to say. I don't fish this pond a lot, so it's, I can't say for sure whether it was or not. Again, like I said, across from this right now, there's that memorial. Like I was talking about, guys that are fishing somehow either drowned or fell in or hit his head or had a heart attack or something and died they found him in the pond down here by underneath that bridge pretty sad to say the only thing that's a lot more scary is because i was here the day that happened i think i seen the guy so that 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 is what creeps me out the most you never know that could have been me I, what happened to him that could be me instead of him so i don't know it's just, it's just scary to think about hopefully it was just nothing like somebody mugged him or something hopefully it wasn't something like that hopefully it just natural causes wasn't too serious because if he got mugged out there fishing that's pretty sad so now i moved back Close to the first spot where I caught my first bass. Down there to the left, it wasn't basically any good. There was two guys that were already fishing down there, so maybe if there was fish down there, they already caught the one or two that were already down there. That's the kind of idea I have. I had one little small little bite, but I think that was just from small little bluegill bass. What is those guys doing down there? Are you serious right now? There's people literally throwing net catch fish down there. Wow, that's sad. See, this is a public park and they're throwing fish nets to catch every possible fish they can get. Now granted, there's probably just small minnows, all kinds of small bait fish, you can name it down there, but still, doesn't give a chance to grow and get bigger and multiply. They're just coming here with a net. Like, I understand they're using maybe a rod or a reel and catching them. That's just sad. This is why people ruin fishing for people. Like, why would you come out here and throw a net to catch fish? Why? These people, I can't tell, I can't tell you what kind of, cause I know there's a lot of, I'm not trying to be sound like racist or or harsh or something like that, but I know there's a lot of Burmese and people who like grew up in maybe somewhere in like India or Asia or South America or somewhere where they fish for a living and stuff like that. 
because I've, I've met a lot of people who've done that. But come to like a lake park where there's literally a park right next to where kids playing and just throwing nets out, trying to catch fish, probably take home and eat. That's, that's pretty sad. I don't even know why would you even, like why? You would, why would you go to a lake park? I, I just, I don't understand. A lake park, like this is not a huge lake where it's heavy populated fish. Like, I've only, as you see, as you probably watched this video, I've only caught one fish while I've been here. And growing up as a kid, you can come out here and catch maybe like six, seven fish, throwing like a night crawler or something like that. But now coming back, I'm like 21, going on 22, and now you can't can't catch anything because people like that come out here and just ruin fishing for everyone and that's the sad part and if you guys want to look up what I mean go watch like um, black tip, black tip H or any ocean ocean fishermen where they go out in the sea catch bait fish and hook them up to catch bigger fish that's what they're basically doing in a small lake pond which is pretty sad to say. People who, like, who are like me, who like come out here and fish for fun of it, who like to catch and release, they come out here and can't catch anything because people like that are catching all the, the bait fish to feed these fish and not allowing them to grow and thrive in their natural habitat and get bigger and reproduce. That's why I catch and release because it's, it's more of like a hobby to me. I'm not worried about catching them, eating, eating them or flaying them or anything like that, that's irrelevant to me. Like, there's no point for me to do that. I like to, kind of like a sport of it, go out and fish, see how many I can catch, how big they are, how big of a bag I can catch. Kind of like a competition you would do, like fish competitively, or just come out and fish and pass time, have fun, catch one fish here and there and move on to the next spot and just trying to work on techniques of like how to fish like jigs, uh, worms, spinner baits, chatter baits, just learn the art of fishing and you come out here and see people just come out here and doing like the cheapest thing to do is just throw out a net and catch fish when it's illegal to do. Just out here doing that. That's just, and there's nothing I can do about it. I can go up and say something like, hey, you can't do that. Um, they might get mad or leave right away or they might not. They just, they just, it's just sad. Like, there's no need to do that at all. Now I know why this place is so, so pressured, because people like that come out here and fish like that. This is not even really fishing. That's just throwing a net. Because that's a high traffic area, I would say, because underneath the bridge where rocks are. I was over there earlier, fishing a little bit, and all I was seeing was little small bait fish, and then like really small and they're just out there casting net. Like I've wa been watching for like the past 10, 15 minutes while they're doing it. They're throwing a net repeatedly. They probably throwing that net out in the water at least 50, 15 or 20 times already. Oh my God, this is bigger than the first one. Oh, this fish is... fingers to hold up for how many fish we caught today.
Oh my gosh. I don't know. So you say you wanna get away.